so this is a group of london based male poets important thing is this one that this is the group of the male poets only and the females were not at all allowed and we'll come to know why the females were not allowed founded in 1890 by wb gates and ernst rise so these were the people those who uh, wb yeats nobel laureate a very famous poet and playwright also he is the one the one who founded this uh, rhymers club and included ernest thompson then lionel johnson francis thompson and then others also so these are the important writers those who uh, those important like people those who were the part of this club as a whole matched quite closely to yeats retrospective idea of the tragic generation destined for failure and in many cases early death actually this is the um, uh, whole matched quite closely to this this these are the people those to whom uh, if uh, yeats I mean yeats had tried to describe all these people as the people those who belong to the tragic generation the kind of uh, things which they were facing at that time originally not much more uh, than a dining club originally it just started as a dining club produced anthologies of poetry in 1892 and 1894 so this was just a simple club in which few people they came together and they started a sort of club and then they all of them they started writing poetry and then they brought out a book in 1892 and in 1894 they brought out another book so the first entitled the book of the rhymers club was published by Elkin Matthews in 1892 the second book of the rhymers club appeared 2 years later in 1994 published by the recently merged elkin matthews and john lane so first book was published by elkin matthews in 1892 and the second one was published in 1894 by elkin matthews and john lane those both of them the both of them were the anthologies and in which the poems of all these uh, all these people all these members of the club these were written these were published these got published so those of the group appearing in these two volumes were these were the people those who wrote in those uh, two books so met at a london pub they all of them met at a london pub this uh, this was the name of the pub in fleet street and the dom uh, in the domino room of the cafe royal so they used to meet at such places used to meet to drink from tankards smoke clay pipes and recite their own poetry so they used to drink they used to smoke and that's why they are also known as the decadents also because that is actually the generation which is that that is actually the lost generation so recite their poetry they used to recite their poetry yeats wrote we read our poems to one another and talk criticism and drank a little wine so they used to drink they used to talk to each other and then they used to recite their poems also so oscar wilde he was also one of the he also attended a few meetings but he was not a uh, Uh, an official member of this club women were not allowed meetings were held about once a month but no minutes were ever taken or any kind of manifesto published so as we have seen in the case of uh, other uh, other schools like uh, futurism we have seen that there was a clear cut manifesto they had their own objectives and they tried to make those objectives very popular but these people they were not having any kind of manifesto and published so details of this so we do not know anything about the details what they used to do what they how they used to uh, behave what was their purpose of writing this kind of poetry by the produced to to so there was a core of about 14 members this 14 members these were much more popular but it is considered that there was there were around uh, 25 members of this club the musicality of the words that was very important and emphasis on its sound musicality that was very important for them sounds were very important musicality of the rhymes which they were writing walter peter was the lauded critic of their time maintained that all art constantly aspires towards the condition of music suggesting that the arts all attempt to merge form and content in the way that is found in music so for them music was much more important so because they used to recite all those poems all those uh, poems and they used to share the content so music music was for them was much more important absolute freedom of choice and subject matter however it might strike the reader so they were also free to choose their own subjects uh, as we have seen in other movements also the other uh, isms also to choose perfection of the work rather than of life so for them 
perfection of the work is much more important and they were they were not at all concerned with the perfection of life and how this group was taken this is much more important so decadents they were actually considered as decadents regarded as wistful drunks who met their ends in gutters and insane asylums so these were the people it was that this is just the lost generation this these are the people those who are just destroying their own lives because they will definitely either they will end their lives in gutter or they will end their life in uh, lives in uh, in sin asylums in uh, mad uh, in mad houses so yeats referred to his friends and colleagues as the tragic generation certainly a few members fitted that so this the tragic generation yeats has also used this term for uh, the people for the members of this uh, uh, rhymers club and he has called them tragic generation because most of them they died young because of their own reasons like uh, dawson he died at 32 because he was uh, an, a, he was an in, impoverished alcoholic and then Lionel Johnson he died at 32 then this uh, Beardsley at 25 and Oscar Wilde at 46 so they died early reason because reason being because they used to drink a lot and they spoiled their own lives then ending maybe in the end of the rhymer's biography proved to be more interesting than their art at the stage that they were it then they were young and promising and full of ideas but most did not attract too much attention as poets either then or now ernest townsend lionel johnson and arthur simons have secured reputation but only yates triumphed so the thing is this one that these poets they could not get much more recognition we know yates everybody knows yates so the others like uh, dawson and lionel johnson and arthur simons these were a bit important but it was Yates only who, one who could get any kind of recognition.